Hi guys, Massman here, back with my newest video, and today I'm going to be looking at coordinates. Now, if you haven't already done so, and you'd like f more free videos to do with Key Stage 2, and specifically Year 6, then please hit the subscribe button. Now, uh, to be able to do today's uh, video, you need to know some basic facts. But before I start with that, if you already have a bit of knowledge about coordinates, you might want to skip to the last half of the video where I'll be looking specifically at the four quadrants. But just now I'm going to look at just the first quadrant. So for those of you that don't know, a point is identified by a coordinate. And this is what they look like. They are always in brackets and there's a comma that separates the two coordinates. So here's one coordinate and here's another, and then there is the comma. Now, this first coordinate here tells us how far to go horizontally, okay, or on the x-axis, to be more mathematical. And this second number tells us how far we are going to go up or down, or vertical, as you would say, on the y-axis. All coordinates are always plotted from a starting point of 0, 0. And 0, 0 is always where the y and the x-axis meet. So here is an example using just the first quadrant. I have three coordinates up in the top right-hand corner, and now I'm going to plot them. So do not forget that the first number tells us how far to go along the x-axis, or horizontally. So that number is 5, so I'm going to go along the corridor to where 5 is, and then 2, I'm going to go up the stairs to where 2 is, and that would be where 5, 2 is. So I've done that one. The second one is 8 and 7, so the first number is an 8, so I'm going to go along to 8 and up 7. Okay, so always go along the corridor and then up the stairs. Third coordinate is 11 and 2, so I'm going to go across to 11, and then I'm going to go up 2. And in some questions, they might ask you to join the coordinates together, and in my case, I've joined the coordinates together, and it makes a triangle. Now we're moving on to something more complicated, and this is probably going to blow your mind if it's the first time you've heard it. But... We have four quadrants in coordinates. This is known as the first quadrant. Here's the second quadrant. Here's the third. And here's the fourth quadrant. Now, if you have two positive numbers, so a positive number and another positive number, then your coordinate will appear in this first quadrant. If you have a positive number and a negative number, then your coordinate will go in the second quadrant. If you have a, a negative number and a positive number, then your coordinate will go in the third uh, quadrant. If you have a negative number and a negative number, then your coordinate will go in the fourth quadrant. So what exactly does that mean in real life? Well, this is exactly what it means. I'm going to look at this first one here, where it says 3 and 5. So, I've got two positive numbers here. So, if I look back, if I've got two positive numbers, then it's going to appear in this first quadrant here. So, I'm going to go across 3, and then up 5. So, there's my first coordinate. Now, this one is a positive number, and a negative number, because it's minus 5. So, if I've got a positive and a negative, then I can see that it's going to go in the second quadrant. So I'm going to go across to where 3 is. So I've done that bit. And then now I'm going to go down instead of up, which we've never done before in this video. I'm going to go down to where minus 5 is. There's my second coordinate. Now my third coordinate says minus 3. So my first number is a minus number, a negative number. My second number is a positive number. So if I have a negative and a positive number, then I'm going to be in the third quadrant. So I'm going to go across to minus 3, so that's here. Then I'm going to go up to where 5 is, because it's a positive number. 
Now this one is a negative number and a negative number. And if I've got two negatives, then I'm going to be in the fourth quadrant. So the first coordinate says minus 5, so I'm going to go along the x-axis to where minus 5 is. Then I'm going to go down, because it's a negative number, to where minus 6 is. And I'm going to draw my last coordinate. And then if it asks me to do so, I'm going to join up the coordinates using a ruler and a pencil. And that is how you plot coordinates in the four quadrants. Now, what I am going to leave uh, this video with is a few coordinates. And if you would like to, then you can comment down below and you can tell me what you think the answers are. And I will get back to you um, if you choose to do that. So here's the first coordinate. Here's the second coordinate. Here's the third coordinate. Here's the fourth coordinate. Have a go at, have a go at um, trying to figure out those coordinates and see if you can remember to write them with brackets, with a comma in between, in the comment section down below. I look forward to hearing your answers. And if you did like this video, then please hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next video.